YouTube! What is up guys? Brooks Mason here aka The Lazy Jammer. Um, probably I've been looking forward to this video uh, for so long. I've been meaning to do it and I finally have time to do it. It's the Rory Gallagher video. Everyone's been asking for it. Um, and man, I'm so happy to be actually doing it. Um, sorry for the, um, the short shorts. I just got done uh, exercising. So if you don't like these, make sure to hit dislike. Um, I actually wouldn't advise you to do that though. Uh, let's go over the basics. Let's talk about Rory Gallagher. Um, first of all, first things first, Rory Gallagher not, did not only play strats, but everyone knows it's evident that his number one um, was the Fender Stratocaster. Um, it was a, uh, I think, a, oh man, I'm not even going to say it because somebody's going to comment that I'm wrong, but it was a uh, late 50s, early 60s Strat. Yeah, so if you're going to want to nail that tone, you're going to want to um, get a, um, a Fender Strat uh, with Venice style pickups. Um, so yeah, um, basically a, a standard Strat, any Strat will do, um, just no humbucker in the bridge. You're really going to want to have that uh, normal uh, Strat bridge. Uh, but yeah, so, I know I say but yeah a lot. Um, so yeah, we just got a, a standard uh, Highway 1 Fender Stratocaster here. Um, yeah, this piece broke off a while back, but yeah, it's nowhere um, near as uh, bad condition as uh, Rory's uh, is. He played Tellys for Slide and Gretches and, um, and stuff like that, and, um, but we're not talking about that today. We're talking about uh, Roy, Rory's main sound. A lot of people know that he was famous for using the treble booster. Uh, it's basically a gain boost. Um, to you know, get you more gain back in the day, but he was he was also known as uh, one of the loudest uh, rock guitar players. So um, I think a lot of that uh, uh, came from uh, the amp itself. Uh, it's also evident that uh, Roy was huge fans of the Vox AC30. Um, and now I'll roll the clip um, from the Beat Club here. Um, and you can see that he's, uh, he's, he uses uh, AC-30s, um, he also used a lot of Fender Tweeds, Bandmasters, um, he also used a lot of brown face Fender amps, but basically anything with, no, he didn't have a lot of pedals up front, like I said, he just used that, um, that treble booster, and he just, sometimes he just go straight from the amp to the chord and just turn it up. Alright, so, um, one thing that I, I know about Rory is that he, obviously by the look of his Stratocaster, he hit the hell out of the strings, you know. So he hit a lot, really hard on the strings. I'm, uh, the most key uh, thing of Rory Gallagher is the pinch harmonic. He did a lot of pinch harmonic. So you want to you want to get in uh, watch another video on how to do pinch harmonics but that he did that so much in this playing. So yeah you're gonna want to You're gonna want to get that pinch harmonic down. Um, also, uh, Rory didn't have any boost pedals or anything like that. So what Rory would do, like most guitar players back in the day, you just roll that volume knob down, and that would be your that would be your uh, that would be your rhythm. Time. also liked about Rory Gallagher is he he went out of the box you know the uh, we're, we're an E here that's your minor pentatonic scale he would go out of the box a lot he would go he'd do a lot of that stuff where he would just kind of go out of the box where Just a lot of stuff like that, you know. So that's slower. So that's just in your E. That's pretty basically, we'll do the same look. Faster. So let's do uh, lick number one here for Rory Gallagher. And you, you've heard this like a lot, a lot of guitar players play this. But what Rory would do, he would come down and uh, he does this a lot in his licks. He ends on that, uh, whatever that root is. He didn't, a lot of vibrato, so that. 
So he did a lot of that. So uh, lick number two is a fun one I like to play, and it, it, it goes like this. I'll play it first. And he did that a lot. And um, so let me just go and uh, show you the difference between doing that and doing it uh, the way Roy would do it with the pinch harmonic. So normal. Which is fine and everything, but to get a little bit more aggression in it, you go... is 12th, uh, 14th, 15th on the B string, pinch harmonic uh, and palm muting. So once again, and then also he, you can go the opposite way. A monster lick that I watched him do on, um, on I think, uh, uh, Messing with a Kid. He, he likes to go into these, all these kind of Celtic, you know, being from Ireland. He, um, he's, uh, he's really big into that whole kind of um, Celtic style of playing. But uh, I figured this out, and this is uh, N.A. still. This is the lick. So that lick, uh, somewhat, I might not do it exactly right, but that is uh, starting on the... Um, Anyway, on the G string, just follow this. So something fast like that, it'd be... So once again, it's a little bit slow. It's, it's all in the way he played, man, and it's just so, so, he didn't play like anyone else. The key to sounding like him in a band form is dynamics. Uh, you, you see a lot of his songs, he would bring the whole band down, and he would, he would just play out a whisper, you know? And then when the solo would kick in, he would just... But yeah, so let's go over those licks again. this video of uh, me doing some Rory Gallagher licks. Um, uh, make sure to subscribe to my uh, channel. Uh, make sure to watch the rest of my videos. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, but yeah, make sure to comment. Yeah, I thought I would share this um, Rory Gallagher video. But So go buy you guys a strength and crank an AC30 and uh, play some Rory Gallagher licks.